Hey, this is Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. Our website is sis the number four teachers.org. Today we're going to show you how to do a game called Across the Pond. It's a part of our collection of strategy games that you can find on our, find on our website that is on sale to get 15 games for only $10 that can bring strategies into your games in your classroom. This game is called Across the Pond. As we look at the game board, each person kind of has five lily pads that they can sort of go off of. I like to play this game kind of across from my partner so that we can kind of see our lily pads and kind of have it from the same vantage point as we're looking at it. I'm gonna go ahead and use two-sided counters. You could certainly use clear counters with this or any other type of counter that kind of slides easily and fits into the boxes. I'm going to have my frogs in the lily pad and I'll have yellow frogs. My friend is going to have um, red, lily, red frogs on her lily pads. As we look at the game board, in level one, we're going to kind of play the introductory part of this game. In the next video, we'll, saw, we'll play level two where it makes it a little bit more complex. On the game board, you can move in any direction on the game board. You can move forward, left, right, backwards. You can even move diagonal in this game. The four brown squares are representative of logs. You cannot go on the logs. In this game, you cannot hop over any of the frogs and you can't stack your frogs on top of each other. So my partner is trying to get her five frogs onto my five lily pads. I'm going to be thinking about how I can strategically block her from getting to my lily pads where I can eventually get in. She's also going to be using those same strategies as we go. So I'm going to go ahead and go first. In level one, you only move one frog at a time to give the kids a general idea. Level two makes it a lot more complex as you're playing it. So I'm going to kind of see where we can go on the board to kind of get us across the other side. I'm trying to get closer to her lily pad. It looks like I successfully got to the point where I have one deposited here. So this, this one here is um, going to stay there and um, hopefully I won't have to move it out because you do have to go every turn. If you do get stuck on a turn, you have to go. You can also slide your counters to and from on the sides of the lily pads as well. Looks like our game is coming close to an end. It's neck and neck where my partner is very close to getting her frogs in to onto my lily pads. However, I have successfully made it across the pond before my partner. This game does involve a lot of strategies. Remembering that kids can move left to right upon the lily pads also will help them to be able to get their frog back to the other side of the board. It's a great game to play with young students. It's just using level one as they're moving one frog, kind of strategizing. So you kind of get locked in where you might keep repeating that same move. If a child feels that they can't move, they do have to make a move. Whether it is even having to take a frog out of their lily pad spot and then move it back, that might be uh, what they might have to do if they're kind of locked out on a move. Check out our level two, especially for Older students, you want to be able to add a complexity to this that will make it much more difficult to get your frogs from one side of the pond to the other side. So we'll show you level two. Check it out on our website. We hope you have fun playing across the pond. Our website is sis, the number four, teachers.org.